Hey, this is Hassan Naila. We that clay couple. Look, I I'm, got wor- to I'm working, and he know it, y'all. Look, and I don't know what he's gonna say. Look, don't so, try this at it. Don't don't you try this at home. Don't try uh, what? What I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> All right. You start out with orders. <laughs> don't you try this at home, okay? Uh, Hi, Lisa. Hey, Hassan already started with telling me don't try this at don't home. Don't try this at home. But, Hi, Princess Ness. I like a Naila. I like your name, Naila. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm, okay. okay, what is it? Because I, you know, I'm look, working. Look, because I, I, I need you to understand something. Uh huh. This betrayal. Betrayal. You know, people, yeah, I, I, it's a lot of betrayal when people are doing a lot of betrayal out here right about now. Like they are um, getting into re- relationships and then just cheating on each other, or they expecting somebody to just. Well, I said I'm sorry, and and you need to just get over it. Mm, that's not going to go over well. You can't sit up here and betray me and then tell me to just get over it. Yes. Also, you saying the ones that say, okay, I betrayed you, I deceived you, I lied to you, I yeah. committed infidelity, yeah. and I apologize. Now, what else do you well, want me to do? You know, oh, what, if you, what is it? you cheat on me, you got a lot of stuff that you got to do. I mean, and, and I, I'm trying to figure so this one. I'm trying to tell you, now, don't, you don't, don't try this at home. Well, because if you're remorseful, mm-hmm. remorse has some actions and some things that are supposed to go along with it. Well, I, I mean, and some people might think that they are being remorseful and they are. Uh, but hey, you just dog somebody out. And you expect them to get over it like that? Now I can understand if you, you, it's ten years down the road and they still harping on it or whatever the case may be, and you try to do better. But these things, if it's new, relatively new, even a couple of years, I, I would say a couple of years. Say for for betrayal and deceit, I'm looking for about one to three years for a head and a heart to, to heal. To heal, heal, right? Right, exactly, and so. There's going to be some things that people really naturally would have to, I won't say let go or get over, but they need to really just come to a realization that, hey, I messed up. Uh huh. And okay, I'm going to take, I have to take some of this. Okay, but the problem that people really have with remorse uh-huh. is that remorse puts your flaws in your face. Mm. And nobody wants to answer to that. Mm-hmm. Okay, I did it, I betrayed you, I cheated on you, and I apologize, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And and that's not that's not good enough. Because mm-hmm. many times, especially men. What a minute now. Especially men, mm-hmm. they ask for the woman to be quiet. Now, and I'm not saying that women don't do this. Right. I mean, they, because this is equal opportunity across board, in my opinion, from what we've been seeing. Yes, lately. because men, men, I mean, women cheat. Also, and right. they they do things that are acts consider acts of betrayal as as, as well. Right. But that whole be quiet thing, mm-hmm. or the ones where since you betrayed me, I'm gonna drag you. Right. Yeah. And that's that whole mutual, what they call that. That's that mutual get at each other type of action that's going on, and that's not good. That's not right. Okay. So if I mistreat you. And you mistreat me, well, we good. Right, either swap ain't no swindle. No, nah, that that don't work. You know, that don't work. You know, two two wrongs never make a right. Two wrongs never make a right. Okay, but this is, if we're going to talk about betrayal and deceit and the infidelity, the thing is, is that people to understand that in order to come back from that, it's going to hurt, man. You're going to take some lashes. Right, it's going to be some bumps and bruises. I, I mean, because... You've done something to hurt the relationship. Yes, we didn't even say anything about the person, the relationship sitting in the cut crying. Crying, okay. You know, it, the, the relationship is really taking some beatings over here because you've done something to. And then, then here's the other thing that's mm-hmm. been happening lately that I really is how people are betraying their kids. What do you mean? I mean, it's like okay, they get married. Mm-hmm. The kid don't doesn't know anything about the marriage. It's something that pops up. Okay, so a parent gets married and doesn't tell their kid? Right, I mean, you you know, come on, Naila, you know that's happening. You know, they they tell them the day of the cat. 
Okay, but even if I tell you before, we've seen other acts of betrayal where the child has had an issue with a step parent before. Well, uh, and, 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 and that's true. That's okay, true. and then the child is upset. They're mad, upset because they haven't healed from that. Mm -hmm. And now you get ready to bring another one in. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now I feel betrayed because we just think, okay, well, I divorced that step parent. You good, right, baby? Right. It's over with. He gone or she gone. Oh. And so we're good as a, mm -hmm. and it's me and you again. And they're not. They're, they're not okay. Right. And yeah. so now for a child, you can really do that again. You're going to bring somebody You're else. You're going to bring somebody else into this situation. You're going to bring somebody else to me to have to learn. And then you don't even give a proper introdu introduction to it. Right. Well, even if you do give a proper introduction, sometimes the kid just really ain't going to be cool with it mm. because of the way way you, you the way you did it. Mm. I'm thinking of another one. You know, the folks who say, I want to get married and I'm going to love your kids just mm. like you love your kids. Yes. And then you marry them and they don't like your kids. Right. <laughs> I mean, and they don't really. And then they think because they've worked in a school or they worked around some kids or they keep their niece and nephew or something like that, that it's going to be okay. That's a different relationship. That's a totally different relationship. Right. And so I'm just thinking, oh, we're going to blend. We're going to get married and we're going to be okay. How? Because you've seen a child before. <laughs> <laughs> Got the kid next door come over to your house. Well, even if you have children of your own, that's mm -hmm. still a different relationship. Mm -hmm. And now here it is, I'm married to you, and you don't like my children. Mm -hmm. I mean, what am I supposed to do with you? Right, exactly, exactly. I'm supposed to keep you? I'm Okay, you know, I mean, you got beef with my kids, and you don't like my kids. And then somebody is say, well, how about this? We're going to stay married. I'm just going to live somewhere else. And we just get together like that. Ooh, what is that? And then now your kid got to like, go through the point of saying, okay, he don't want to be or, or she don't want to be around us because of us. Well, and you still keep that relationship. That's a betrayal. Okay, but then what the other part of that is that you never have to learn how to be a blended family. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to learn how to be a, a, a family unit? in two different places. Mm -hmm. The only way that that happens is at some point you have to cohabitate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, we're not dealing with the betrayal. It's just like the person who committed infidelity and said, look, I told you I'm sorry. Get over it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. Yes? Yeah. Give me maybe one or two quick Remedies on how to deal with that. Why you why you ask me that? You know I'm working. Okay, remedies. Remedies for betrayal and deceit. I think the first thing is to understand that after you apologize, you have some work to do. Mm -hmm. The apology itself and even not doing the behavior again, again is not going to be enough in regard to remorse. That is not how another person heal, heals. Oh, we're, you home now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh you, you coming home early now. You going to come home on time now. Uh, oh, right. you quit lying about me to your mother. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's just not going to, to be enough. And to find out from the person that you hurt mm -hmm. what they want to see. Now, we've seen this. You ask them, and they'll say, I don't know. And that's a problem. Right. Right. I can't tell you that I want you to fix. I want you to fix something, then I'm gonna tell you how you can fix it. Yeah, just fix it. Just do it. That part. Right. Nah, that, that that is a because that is, that, I mean that that's you shooting a lot in the dark. You know, that's a shooting a lot in the dark. So okay, that's one. Give me another one. Um give you another one. Yeah. <laughs> give me another one. I'm putting you on the spot today. I see. Yeah. Okay, I would say that another one would be find out what your individual motivation is for doing whatever it, it is, is that, that you, you did. did. Right. Because the betrayal really doesn't have anything to do with the other person, mm -hmm. even though that's what we always think. What did I do for you to lie on me? Right. What did I do for, for you, you to hurt me? me? Right. What did I do for you to cheat on me? What did I do for you to take my money? We're mm -hmm. always thinking that it's something that you did personally. Mm -hmm. 
So and it doesn't. Don't don't take that guilt. Don't right. take that blame. Right. That doesn't belong to you. Give it right back. Right. To the offender and, and for and, that person. And tell them to work on it. <laughs> you look, you work on this. You get this together. So hello, Terrence. Salaikum. Salaikum, Shanda. Hi, Erica. Hello, yes. Tanisha and Latoya. It really is for the that person who did it to find out what motivated you. Mm -hmm. Where does this come from? Where did mm -hmm. that desire to do something to someone that you say you love and you kick to the curb? Like you throw dirt on them. You know, you, you know, kick them in the hole and now you're pushing the dirt over on top of them. Yeah, because it hurts. Yeah, it does. It does. But find out what it is. Because I'm going to say this, and I'm not making excuses for anyone, but people show up human. Mm -hmm. And we do do things that we shouldn't do. And that sometimes it does include lying and deceit. Mm -hmm. And so... I mean, because a lot of times it's about self-preservation. We do have that mechanism yeah. that, that kicks in. Uh, uh, you know, why are you telling a lie? Man, I just didn't want to hear her talking crazy. You I didn't want to hurt you. I didn't want to hurt her. You know, I didn't want to hurt him. So, and... I didn't want to hear his mouth. I didn't want to hear him threaten to take my kids. I mean, we can go through all these reasons of why someone does it. And again, it goes back to, I don't want to deal with the outcomes mm -hmm. of what it is that I did. Well, you know what? If you go, you feeling froggy like that, and you want to jump, then you got to, you have to deal with what jumps back, back at, at you. you. Exactly. And you exactly. don't, and, and you don't get to choose what, what, that, what that, that's, that's going, going to be. be. Exactly. So don't tell me when I can't be mad. Don't tell me, oh, you ain't got over that yet. Mm -hmm. You don't get to tell another person where they're supposed to be in the forgiveness process. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. for them. That belongs to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what folks do all the time. Yeah. Well, so other than for me not doing this at home, is yeah. there anything else? Yeah, just just don't do this at home. Okay, <laughs> we we straight hit that, hit that, hit that. That's a handshake, y'all. It's like a game sign. Right. You like you uh, do I, ain't game. Game. I ain't game. I ain't game. I ain't game related. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't game related. I'm working on my braille. Do some work. So now yeah. I can go back to work. Right. Okay. okay. You know what? Don't try that at home. Yeah. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I try it. Okay. Yeah. Don't you do that? You please share this. Let us know what you think in the comments and i'm gonna get back to work because he just all oh, interrupted my little process all right worthy <laughs> women's win tonight yes eight o'clock worthy what women wins and i will see you ladies in the group all right sound like bye-bye y'all have a good evening